Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have GG Jibriel XD versus Shadow Rabbit, and this is going to be the run back Iron Man from yesterday. They are playing for $100 again, so the winning team is going to win $100, the losing team is going to lose $100, and also make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum Discord, link down below at the top of the description, and check out Jib's Twitch, and check out his team's twitch at jnc collectibles on twitch i'll link all that down below but let's go ahead and hop right in so we're going to see gg jibriel xd backwards go ahead win the rocky versus the shoot decides to go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we got scareclaw cash chira cash chira rise heart prosperity pressured planet and fenrir they have motorbike prodigy driver soul gaia booster and therion king regulus okay so still deciding to play the Psyframe Super Heavy Samurai deck. Well, I'm guessing it's the Psyframe stuff because we see Driver, but... Um, okay, so they're going to go ahead, go Main Phase, activate Pressured Planet, grab Unicorn out. Okay, Special Summon out, Unicorn. Unicorn Effect goes Surge, grab out Kashira Birth, and then activate Birth, Normal Summon Fenrir, Fenrir Effect, go grab out Kashira Unicorn, Special Summon out Kashira Rise Heart, Rise Heart Effect, Banish Big Bang, make him Banish 3 Face Down, Hit Soul Gaia, Ash, and Delta. Uh, so playing multiple Soul Gaias. That is something to note. And then they're going to overlay. Go for Arise. So it's going for a very simple Arise pass. And then activating Prosperity to really boost this up with the Omega, Entus, and Goliath that we had underneath of it. So looking at the top six cards off this Prosperity... Uh, we do see an Imperm. Yeah, we're just gonna grab that. Put the rest of the cards back down to the bottom of the deck. I was gonna say, hopefully some non-engine, because we have a lot of engine. And then, a Rise effect to attach. Attach Big Bang. Set Imperm. Pass. They draw Prodigy. Also, again, to put this into the Pendulum Zone is pretty nice. And then, activate Prodigy. Prodigy effect. Uh, summon and then scale Big Banky. Big Banky effect. It says effect. Okay, it said sure. So, go grab Soul Piercer, you know, holding the Arise, you know, if you shotgun this early, uh, that it's simply gone, and this is a pretty good card. They're gonna go Normal Summon Soul Piercer. I'm gonna say, what could their next play be? Because we have Imperm. So, they're gonna go into the Ninja Synchro. Well, I guess not Ninja Synchro, but the Super Heavy Samurai Ninja Synchro. Then they're gonna go Arise 1. <clears throat> Ninja 2 to pop the Imperm. They're going to chain Imperm to save themselves the 500 life points. And so that way, you know, this can't attack. Uh, they get to attach the Omega, uh, which is also nice because if this gets out and they don't end the game, we have another Arise. Activate Prodigy. Pendulum summon out Motorbike, Driver, and Soul Gaia. And then they are going to interrupt here because otherwise they have like Baron already set up that they could just instantly summon. So, effect, banish the tuner off the field, arise one, big bang two, now we get to summon a Fenrir, and then attach Goliath, which also Fenrir can't get beat over by Driver, because we have Planet, yeah, we see the admit defeat right there, I was gonna say, this is too much, uh, so they're gonna admit defeat, moving on to game two now, we're gonna see Shadow Rabbit, decide to go first, we got Theosis, Pressured Planet, Rise Heart, Birth, and Desires, they have Soul Piercer, Ash, Bell, Driver, and Prodigy. So we'll go main phase, activate Prodigy, Prodigy effect to scale and summon. So scale Big Benki, summon out. Then Big Benki, grab Soul Gaia. I said anything on res? Nope. Normal summon out Soul Piercer. Sure, that's fine. Uh, use those to go up into Omega. Uh, Soul Piercer 1, Prodigy 2. And then scale, go search, grab motorbikes. Crazy just how much weaker this is compared to like make link one. Go search, bring back. And then, oh, uh, so free. Motorbike effect, go search for scales. And then omega effect to rip. And that will hit the theosis from hand. Sure. Pendulum summon out driver, scales, and then the soul Gaia. Uh, scales effect, bring out motorbike from the graveyard. Anything on res? Nope. Okay. Motorbike effect. Up the level by two. Going to Excel. Excel effect. Summon back out the motorbike from the graveyard. And then use those to go up into Dispatter. Dispatter. Bring out Omega. And then... Okay. Use those to make Lando. That's fine. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Because now we can Omega effect to rip. 
And then after we rip the desires from hand, we can activate Lambda effect, which lets us search for Delta. So now we have Bell, Ash, Delta, Dispatter, Lambda. Also, it's just like, why is this in the deck right now? I mean, did we not have anything else to side out? Bell versus Cash is not the best thing ever. Uh, pass, they draw Tear Cash. And then activate Pressured Planet, Chain Delta to summon to negate that. Okay. And then activate Birth, uh, Normal Summon Rise, Rise Effect, Banish Fenrir, and then they gotta banish three face down, but they're gonna chain Dispatter pattern on that to negate it, and they get to put back the opponent's Fenrir that they just, oh, never mind. I was gonna say, wow, really chooses the Theosis there. I guess they have Bell for this, so like, they're just gonna Bell it, Birth, Chain, Bell, yeah. I was going to say, you could put back the Fenrir, and then, like, they can't birth anymore. That seems pretty good. But on to the next game. We're going to see Kashira go first. We got Pressured Planet, Ash, Unicorn, Theosis, Skill Drain. Skill Drain? I mean, yeah, I guess. You play against a Super Heavy Samurai matchup. They can't have any outs to this, really. But, like, imagine you play a Kashira matchup, and you didn't draw Pressured Planet, and they did. Then it's like, oh... That's just really weird, not good. It's kind of like flipping Summon Limit when they have Pressured Planet and you don't. And then they have Wagon, Lancia, Big Benki, Soul Gaia, and Motorbike. So they're going to drop the Lancia during the draw phase. And then Summon Unicorn, Effect, go grab Birth, activate Pressured Planet, search out Fenrir, then Theosis to go summon out Fenrir from the deck, Fenrir Effect. Grab out Unicorn, activate Birth, Normal Summon out Fenrir, overlay everything into Arise. So we're going to force them to out Arise or try to play through it. And then we just flip Skill Drain. Pass, they draw Soul Gaia Booster, another one. I, I kind of feel like they play three of that card. I don't know, they've been seeing it a lot. Normal Summon Wagon Effect, switch to Defense. And then they're going to go Wagon Effect to switch to Attack. Chain Arise Effect. Banish that face down, a rise effect to attach, and then they're gonna go motorbike, discard, chain ash blossom on that, a rise effect to attach, <clears throat> attach the ash, and then they just say GG's. Yeah, they, they, they didn't even know about the skill during that was set either. That was just gonna make that infinitely harder, but they said, I'm up again. Okay, so we're going to see, oh, like switch there, but still we're gonna see Shadow Rabbit versus GG Gibriel XD backwards, and then we're going to see who wins the rock paper scissors shoot it is gg Gibriel. okay uh they're gonna go first 40 versus 40 gotta love to see it opening hands we got motorbike overload uh droll wagon big benki they have rise heart imperm unicorn fenrir big bang so they're gonna go special out unicorn unicorn effect to go search that resolves so go search out birth on res drop droll activate birth and then special summon out Rise Heart, Rise Heart effect to go banish, and then banish Tear Cash, make us banish three face down, Soul Piercer, Wagon, Motorbike. I mean, okay, okay. We have multiples of all of that, so it's not that bad, but it's kind of great. It's kind of funny. Uh, Birth, summon out Tear Cash, effect, make you banish three at the top cards of your deck. So, oh, I guess it's not banished. That's right. I was about to say, I just realized that it's not banished right now. It's just regular mills, but they mill Wagon, Soul Piercer, Prodigy. I mean, you can't even be mad about that, to be honest. Like, that's okay. Okay. Then they're going to go Overlay, go into Arise, and then they're going to go Set, Big Bang, Set, Imperm, Pass. Should have said Big Bang in this column. It's just, like, too obvious which one's Imperm now. Like, that, was, that was just a mistake. Draw Big Banky. Wow, that's unfortunate. Motorbike Effect. Go search out Scales. And they're not even playing Little Banky either. Arise Effect to Attach. And then attach the motorbike, normal summon out scales, scales effect, bring out prodigy from the graveyard. And then they're going to go big bang, that should be banished face down. Uh, yeah, should be banished face down. Okay, banished face down, yeah, go ahead, boop. Alright, then activate big banky. Uh, they're going to, on the activation, banish the prodigy face down. And then arise chain link 1, big bang chain link 2. And then we're going to see Super Heavy just admit defeat there. So on to game two now. 
Uh, Super Heavy is going to go first. We got Fenrir, Lancia, Ash, Delta, Therion King. Well, um, and these are Psychic. Yeah, they're not going to work with machines. None of these are machines. They have Droll, Fenrir, Unicorn, Prosperity, Fenrir. Huh. Yeah, we're just going to pass turn. They draw Theosis. Drop Lancia during the standby. Special out Unicorn. Unicorn effect to go surge. Unicorn, grab out birth. Activate birth. Chain delta. Okay, so negate that. Bring out delta. Driver. Activate the Osis. Chain ash. And then they're going to crash with the driver, which allows them to summon the Fenrir in main phase 2 now. And then Fenrir effect to go surge. This is also like an interruption. And then pass. They draw bell. You know, this stays on the field because Lancia, you know, the, the classic Lancia plus Gamma was like FTK in some matchups. A lot of matchups, actually. But now they're going to have to go normal summon Bell to go into Asa. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Crash, Asa effect, go search, go grab Motorbike. That's like the best Super Heavy Samurai starter now. Um, then they're going to go Motorbike effect, discard, grab Prodigy, drop Droll. They do have a Fenrir, a Therion King, and Prodigy that's all live. So they're going to go Special Fenrir, activate Prodigy effects, summon Scale Big Benki, activate Therion King Regulus to summon and equip. Uh, then they're going to go Fenrir, target Therion King. Oh, they let it resolve. Fenrir, banish Fenrir. They could have negated that because it doesn't negate activation and then... Since it would have still activated, since it doesn't negate activation, they could have still went Fenrir to banish that face down while still just keeping that in grave. So a little bit of a misplay, but to be honest, it just doesn't matter. Um, they're going to go Imperm on Fenrir. And then, even if they didn't draw Imperm, they could just go Special Fenrir, Battle, uh, Attack Prodigy, Effect, Banish Fenrir, Continue Beating Over Prodigy, Main phase two, search Rise Heart, our tier cash, uh, literally anything, just do anything, do anything and you win the game because your opponent's on nothing. And then they're going to go special Fenrir, effect to go search. So Fenrir, go search out Rise Heart. Rise Heart can also banish something like Birth, uh, then Scareclaw can go ahead and banish the Osus. So they're going to banish Birth, make him banish three face down. Um, that hits Therion King, Wagon, Fenrir, plays multiple Therion King, uh, Summon Rise, Effect, Banish Theosis, yeah, they, I mean, they already did that, make him banish three face down, Theosis, add back birth, then they said, GG's, GG's, well played, they said, run back, I'm good, okay, so, now they are tied, both teams have won once, so, one, like, last time, obviously, uh, we saw the Super Heavy Samurai team end up winning, over them uh, they also switched decks you know pulled up a cash tier this time last time it was what unchained and pearly and now there was cash tira and cash tira really just like you know beat this deck uh showed how dominant it was over it honestly it made this deck look very bad um which i i mean also is fair because the, this deck doesn't seem very great uh, but yeah, okay, that's going to be it for the match. That was also the run back. Doesn't look like there's going to be another one, though. So there's not going to be anyone at the top at the end of it. Both of them are just going to end even. No bread was made. A lot of time was spent. And they got some testing. Well, I guess not even that much time was spent, right? I mean, it's pretty fast. Yeah, 13 minutes. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, this this was less than, like, one regular match. Okay, that's fair. Not that much, not that much time was spent. I mean, yeah, the video is 14 minutes. But with all that being said, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Uh, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.